In this tutorial, we'll be assembling the top end of the 6680cc two-stroke engine kit. Step 1. Disassemble your engine and remove any nuts, washers, and lock washers and lay out all your parts. In this example, we'll be using a cylinder body with a piston already installed. Most pistons will have a mark that points to the exhaust port. With the rings pre-installed, push the piston slightly down to expose the wrist pin hole and center. Don't push too far or the rings will come out. One side of the piston will have the piston clip pre-installed. Step 2. Attaching the cylinder body to the bottom end of your engine. To do this we will use the wrist pin and the upper needle bearing. First, you're going to want to install the upper needle bearing into the rod. Now grab your cylinder body and locate the piston clip already installed. Cylinder body can only be installed one way. Intake pointing towards the rear of the motor and the exhaust pointing towards the front. With the needle bearing still on the rod, install the cylinder body and line up the needle bearing and rod to the center hole in the piston. Wiggle it around a little bit and try to get it just right. Once it's aligned, you'll be able to insert the wrist pin. Take the wrist pin, push it into the hole, move the rod slightly up and down side to side to find the perfect spot and push it in. Use a tool to push it all the way in until it hits the back end and hits the other clip. Take a pair of needle nose pliers and grab the piston clip. Compress it so it squeezes together, makes it easy to insert it into the wrist pin hole in the piston. Install it in the little groove in the piston. You'll know it's completely installed all the way when the piston clip itself will be able to rotate freely inside the groove. With the piston clips installed, you can now push the cylinder body all the way down. Step 3. Checking the piston. Using a little raw two-stroke oil, lube the inside wall of your cylinder body. Using a flat blade screwdriver, rotate your motor now to make sure your piston moves smoothly up and down. Step 4. Installing the head. Make sure the cylinder body surface is clean before installing the head gasket. The gasket may get stuck on the studs threads. Work around the motor in order to get it to seat properly. If using an angle fire head, the head can be put on forwards or backwards. Install the washers, lock washers, and nuts. Torque nuts in a crisscross star pattern. 